U.S. Bank helps us bring you stories of athletes who inspire us. Aubrey, tonight we meet the courageous and inspirational head soccer coach from Lincoln High School. The Lions won the section title this season, but every day was a battle for this fine coach. Practice for the Lincoln High boys soccer team just after winning a section title and before heading to NorCal's. The Lions are led by longtime head coach Juan Torres. Coach Torres is a Lincoln alum. His name appears on the Lincoln Wall of Fame. This season's title is the third for Coach Torres. He won back-to-back -back titles eight years ago. But this one comes with more adversity than the rest. I think, I think it meant like redemption. Uh, considering everything that we've gone through as far as as a team with uh, injuries and uh, these kids come from the inner city they have to work they have other obligations they have to um, you know they have academics they have life it wasn't always pretty you know we had a lot of downs at the beginning of the season we started off pretty slow but, you know over time like we peaked at the right moment and like you know we just trusted the process at the end and it paid off Throughout the season, Coach Torres battled the effects of lupus, a serious autoimmune disease affecting everyone differently. For Coach Torres, the disease has caused chronic kidney failure. Every day, you know, on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I do have, I do have treatment. Uh, I have what they call dialysis on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, five in the morning to nine, go to work and then come and train. He's a great coach. Um, he knows how to manage everyone's egos and everyone's mindset and um, personalities. And that's what we need, someone that can direct the team and keep control of everyone. So he, um, he did a really good job this year. And um, he means a little, he's like, he's the best coach I could ask for. Coach Torres works at a nonprofit as a social worker. He has a long history of working with troubled youth, which helps make him an understanding coach. As a coach, you're, you become more of a counselor and, a, and a, you wear many hats now. You know, so I do social, social work on the outside, that's my full-time job, so um, I get to deal with the kids that have certain you know, issues and stuff like that. Coaching this team is also a benefit to Coach Torres, who gets as much out of it as the players. Coming out here is basically more like a therape therapeutic session instead of more looking like, like work, although I do have some interesting, you know, unique, uh, you know, characters on this team. I mean, it's, it's, it's always fun. As a former collegiate soccer player, Coach Torres is frustrated with the pain and fatigue caused by the lupus. Extremely. Uh, you're accustomed to playing every day, competing at a high level, and now you're not able to uh, compete at the high level, even though I'm a little bit older. but. It's extremely frustrating. I do sometimes knock the ball around with the guys, and just it's lightly. Coach Torres is stable right now. He's waiting for a perfect match from a donor so he can have a transplanted kidney. Hoping for a kidney transplant from a live kidney donor uh, coming soon. I know I've gone through some assessments, but nothing is for certain. Until then, the coach comes here every day. He's thrilled with the section title after a very trying year. His players know what this coach goes through to be with them every day. Um, having training every day with the things that, you know, he goes through, it's hard for him and, you know, we appreciate what he does for us, you know, doing everything he can just to be out there with us, is, it means a lot to us and, uh, yeah, his dedication is, is incredible. So Coach Torres continues to go through the dialysis treatments as he waits for a donor kidney. He expects to be back coaching the Lions once again next season, hopefully another title. And we will be waiting for that call he gets. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Thank you, Robert.